Hello everybody and welcome back to the Fire Emblem Unpromoted Challenge. We are fighting pirates, so that's cool. That's how the last one ended. We left off fighting pirates. Alright, so there's gonna be a really cool guy I recruit in this uh chapter that is absolutely essential. Hey Anna, I heard about your contest with Pirate Captain Fargus. You've got nerve, I'll give you that. Let me give you some advice. Don't try to overpower the pirates. Take the narrow path next to us at, and follow that wall toward the sea. Way ahead of you, Anna. Pass in front of the last house and stay close to the sea wall. You should be able to get to Fargus and win your game. Why do I know all this? Well, my sweetie's a pirate. His name's Jake, and he's the best. If you see him, tell him Anna's worried about him. Ah, uh, Anna. She's in every Fire Emblem game. And that Jake guy used to be as well, but they kind of forgot about him somewhere along the way. I don't know why. Uh, so anyway, there's a really cool guy I have to recruit in this chapter, because he's absolutely essential to completing this challenge. I think he's right here. Yep, here he is already. Pardon me, I was speaking with an old sailor a few moments ago. He told me that you're planning to travel to Valor. Is that so? Really? Oh, I did Raven didn't say anything. And that's why you're playing tag with these pirates? I see. In that case, would you mind if I joined you? My name is Kanaz. I'm a scholar of sorts. I've been spe seeking passage to Valor, but none will take me. My proposal probably sounds somewhat selfish, no? I like your monocle. <laughs> you should know, I can help in combat. I've some skill with a form of elder magic. Some call it dark magic, a rather biased term, if I must be blunt. But at the very least, I can take care of myself, and perhaps others. Alright, so right when I started this challenge, I knew that this guy was going to be absolutely essential to completing it, because he is the only shaman you get in this game, so he's the only user of dark magic you get. And because of that, there is a dark magic spell called Luna that negates enemy resistance, like, the way it works is when he attacks, it's his magic, plus the might of the weapon, which is 7, minus the enemy's resist- ah, come on. Minus the enemy's resistance, and that's how much damage he does. Luna doesn't have any might of its own, but it negates enemy's, enemy's resistance, so if I used it, it would always do 10 damage to whoever I used it on, because that's what his magic's at right now. So if I can max his magic out to 20, it'll always do 20 damage, and Luna has a high critical hit rate. It's probably the best dark magic spell. And I knew it was going to be absolutely essential when I started this challenge. It's the only way I can think of on how this is possible. Um, I might have Raven and Guy stay behind to defend Merlinus. Because I don't know if these guys are going to move out. Because looking at it, there are a lot more pirates now in hard mode than there are in normal mode. I think this place is completely empty in normal mode, but I don't remember for sure. Alright, I think I'll end there and see what happens. Also, I'm going to only mostly follow Anna's advice. It's ap it's like a great idea to listen to her and go around. Do not charge the middle. The pirates in the middle are stronger than all the other ones. It's just not a good idea, but if you do do it, little bit of trivia here. Ooh, good work little bit of trivia here, if you charge the middle, then the Captain Fargus, will, he'll just be like, Whoa, they're coming at us from the middle? Are they brave or stupid or something like that? I don't remember. Alright, well, this is working out. Uh, Just uh, KO the guy you just attacked. Bow, I love dark magic. Look at this thing. <laughs> dark magic's so cool. It's also... thing about dark magic, it's the most powerful. But their tomes weigh the most. So yeah, you've got a minus one speed because your constitution is less than the weight of the book. Yeah, it's not flawless, but it's still one of the coolest. Uh, okay, here's what we'll do. We'll have you go here and throw a hand. Oh, whoa, never mind. I shouldn't have done... Yeah, 48% chance of hitting. Hector, do you, need a, do you need a skill book? What's your skill? I guess it could be better. Um... You know what, let's do the support, so I can show you what that's about. Ah, Lywood, it's good to see you're well, still well. Hmm? You're, you expected otherwise? No, of course not. I knew you'd be fine. Hector, wait for a moment. What did you want? Nothing. It's enough, I, uh, it's enough to see that you live and are still fighting. Just wanted to make sure you weren't overdoing it with me not around. I should say the same to you. 
Me? Don't worry about me, I'm fine, I'm built tough, you know. A little too much is just enough for me. But you, you've never been a hardy one, Eliwood. Nor are you used to travel, go on too long and you'll collapse. We're all weaklings compared to you, Hector, that's a true statement. <laughs> Thankfully, wars are not won by strength alone, eh? We've been sparring every once every two months since we were 12, so doing supports, there are a few things that get to them, and one of them is mostly just to get character development, which is something I like. And of 30 matches, 14 I won, 12 I lost, and 4 were draws. Alright, I think not. I recall 31 matches, and even 13-13 split with a five dr with 5 draws. Yes, well, you recall wrong, isn't- I'm in the right. Ha! <laughs> and what makes you so certain? Whose snoring was it that shook the rafters in numbers class? Numbers class? Is that what they called it back then? Ah, good point. Still, I'm touched you were worried about me. Now, back to the fray. Bromance! Bromance! Hey, wait! Blast! Alright, so let's see what I did there, because I didn't look... Okay. Uh, you have an anima affinity, so I don't remember what that one does. And Hector... That's not Hector. Hector, you have lightning. Okay, so... It shows you the supports you've done so far right here, and right now it's C rank, and let's do a Lywood because I know what lightning does. Right now it's C rank, so because Hector is a lightning affinity, whenever a Lywood and Hector are fighting near each other, with the lightning affinity, a Lywood's crit rate will be higher, and the more, the more I build up the support, the higher his crit rate will be whenever Hector's around, because of the lightning affinity. I don't remember what anima does, so I'm not sure what Hector's getting out of this. But there are people who really go to extreme lengths in remembering what every affinity does and know what's best, because each character can only have five supports. So you can only reach A rank with one person, and people like go to extreme lengths of knowing what characters are best to support with who to get the best benefits. I'm not going to go that far in this playthrough, I just wanted to give you an idea of how it worked. If there are supports you want to see, that's how I'm doing it. I'm not doing it by what's best, I'm doing it by what people want to see. So, just keep that in mind. Just thought I'd show you how it worked a bit. Alright, oh, these guys. What an interesting diversion. Maybe we should join in. Lord Eliwood of Fairway, you don't yet know the fear of the bla no, to Ah, you don't yet know to fear the Black Fang. Start grieving, for I will teach you that fear. It's only when I try doing voices that I can't read right. I don't understand why. Okay, wow, I'm glad I left you guys behind. Hit him, Hector! Oh, come on. You dare dodge the axe of Hector? Who do you think you are? Huh. There are a lot of them. Uh, we'll leave, we'll leave you here for now, and Raven, we'll put you in charge of uh, fighting back. Okay, what's, uh, what's my first move gonna be? Take him down, Lin. Boom! I knew you could do it. Oh, come on! Are you serious? He had a 14% chance of hitting me. Okay, come on, Lin. I really want your strength to go up. Come on, strength. Oh! Well, I guess I can't be too mad. That's actually pretty good. Well, I mean, not really mad, but upset. But, man, I really was hoping for that strength. Okay, Eliwood, you go right here so Hector will have that little boost from, uh... Your affinity and see what it does for him. I think Anima is actually one of the best affinities to have. I think Anima might do maybe a little bit of everything. I don't remember. I think Anima's the one people really want though, and it's like the rarest to have. I don't know. I don't remember. I might just be lying to you. I don't know for sure. But, oh, cool. See, he has a 6% chance of critting with a simple iron sword because of that lightning affinity of Hector's. So, doing supports is really, really beneficial. So, you know, you, you don't, it's not necessary, but it sure does make things a lot easier if you know what you're doing. Alright, come on, Raven. You Okay, good work, Raven. I knew you'd dodge. Take him down. Boom! Sword in the right arm, because that's where it landed, I guess. Okay. I don't know if I've talked about the arena yet. There's a lot of talk about in this chapter. The main reason I accepted this side quest is because of this arena. Because I plan on doing what's known as arena abuse in this chapter. So that everyone I brought with me is going to be le level 20 by the end of it. Damien. You have... Oh. 
Oh, what's your strength? Hmm, this is a dangerous weapon. 12 and 9. I'll try to remember that. I might have to have Hector bait you out. Uh, uh take him down. Okay. Can you do it from here? Nope. Okay, well, we'll give it a good old college try. Take him down, Kanaz. Because you're going to be my key player in this. I absolutely need you. I don't know if it's going to get to the point where I need you in every chapter to defeat every boss, but it might just happen, because you might end up being the only one who can hurt them with a Luna spell. Uh, okay, we'll move Hector first. Who's over here? Just a pirate? Okay, uh... We gotta move you to the trees, because we need her to heal you. I hope, uh, hope that Raven and Guy will be safe down there. I'm sure they can handle it. They're sword users, and it's just a bunch of axe users. I'm, I think we'll be fine. How you guys do? Whoa! Whoa! There are a lot of them. Okay. We'll just, uh, let you guys share the enemies, then. Yikes, there are a lot of you guys. Who'd you go for? Guy? Well, I guess I can understand that. Guy's probably faster, and Raven's probably stronger. That's probably the trade-off between these two. All right. It was just to give Raven a little backup, because I'm a little concerned. Okay, take him down, and then Raven will take care of the other guy. Or should I just stay on the defensive? Nah, I'll... I, it's probably best to take them out. Alright, Raven. I wonder if Raven and Guy can do supports. I've never done that before if they can, so I might be interested in learning that. Because, again, a big part of its character development, it's how you learn most of it. Otherwise, these characters would never talk again if you didn't do supports. So... Alright, uh, Lywood will move you there, Hector will move you there, and I will move you right there, because I don't want him taking advantage of the forest, using it against me, because being on the forest raises your defense by 1 and your avoidance by 20, so that's pretty good. Okay, who's next, huh? I'm glad I left those two behind, otherwise Merlinus would be dead. <laughs> I might have to have Hector bait out a lot of those enemies down there, because, hmm, some of them are mages, though, and ha What?! Okay, I guess I'll accept that. Huh. <sighs> Did I? Oh, well, we'll talk about it later. Level up. So, oh, yeah, strength. That's strength and speed. My favorite things. Okay, come on. Dodge it, Raven. I don't need you taking two hits, but I guess that's all. What? Oh, I mean, it wasn't necessary, Raven, but I guess you got a crit. I'm not, I'm not sad about it, I love watching the crit animations, I just wish you did that, you know, the first time. That way you could have saved up on a weapon use. How strong is- Oh, why A killer bow! What's with everyone having dangerous weapons here? What do you got? Elf fire, hammer, silver axe, killer axe, oh my god! This is gonna be dangerous! Okay. I gotta play this super safe. How do I lure them out one at a time, very cautiously? I'm not sure. I think it's like a three-tile radius that the characters have to be within each other to get the bonus effects of their supports. I'm not sure. I'm not completely sure if that's true. Don't quote me on it. Huh. What's your affinity, wind? Yeah. Wind is avoidance. Gosh, how am I... Guy's gonna take charge instead of Raven for a bit, because Raven got damaged. How can I lure you guys out one at a time? Oh, okay, well I can get the mage out first. I can take him down with my dark mage. Okay. When do you guys start moving? Because you're the big threat, too. I want to get rid of these pirates first before I worry about the Black Fang members. Okay, so no one else can reach above the trees, right? Nope, okay, luring out the mage first. Flux is... Dark magic is strong on anima magic, and light magic is strong on dark magic. So we'll be fine this way. Let's just move everyone over for now, and then take these guys out one at a time. Okay, you can do this, man. Whoa, that's actually a lot of damage. Okay, take him out. Well, I don't know, you're probably not going to attack twice. But you did a decent amount of damage. Man, that's... Everyone who's in the middle path right here is stronger than everyone else on the map. Except for, like, you know, this guy. Don't fight this guy. Why would you fight him? Okay. He's... I think he's a lot stronger on hard mode. People actually have, like, killed him before. So what happens if you kill Fargus is you get game over. 
because if you skip this chapter, like, he's still the guy who's taking you to the island. He's a necessary part of the game. Alright. Is this a good idea? Ah. You can move. Hmm. You can't finish him. Probably didn't play that make the best move choice there. 44. What's your... 49. Ha! <sighs> wow, this guy's got a lot of... This guy has a lot of chances to hit. Alright. I guess I'm gonna make my move in the next episode. I gotta plan this out really carefully. I was hoping that Dark Magic would do a lot more damage, honestly. Alright, in the next episode, hopefully I'm gonna be able to get through this. I can show you how the arena works, and then I can start arena abuse, and get everyone to the maxed out level that they can be as their first level classes. So, if you like this episode, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe! That's the important one. Alright, hope you guys join me next time, and I hope you enjoy.